I've just got in from work. Um, just cooking my dinner now. You're gonna have to wait until I put it on the plate to show you what I've got. It's a yummy dinner tonight. Um, tomorrow, I'm taking my camera in no matter what. We are picking up a Maserati for a service, an MOT. And at the end of the day, I volunteered to drive it because I've never driven a Maserati in my life. Probably will never ever drive a Maserati again. So I'm gonna take my camera in and I'm gonna pick it up from, uh, it's the doctor who's got it, and pick it up and I am so looking forward to it. Anyway, um, I'm just hoping tomorrow, fingers crossed, you know it, that when I get home, the Andy man has turned up and I walk into my bedroom and I think, oh my God, I finally got a wardrobe. Just keep your fingers crossed guys, because that's what I am hoping. And it's all gonna be finally done. And I'll show you guys on the vlog if it actually happens. And tomorrow night I'm gonna do a nice slow cooker chili con carne. Lucy's gonna get me the ingredients tomorrow, the mince, the chilies, that sort of stuff. And um, tomorrow night I'm gonna make it all up. So when I get home Wednesday night, bosh, chili con carnas, love it. Right guys, let me serve me dinner up and I'll show you what I've got. So there's my dinner for tonight. So I've got four pork chops, because I'm a greedy boy and starving. Some fresh carrots, homemade roast potatoes, marafat peas, and runner beans. Marafat peas. Guys, I had a childhood of eating marafat peas. My mum used to do them all the time on our Sunday roast dinner. And honestly, I would say it's the first time I've had them for 40 years, marafat peas. And you're saying, well, why you got marafat peas now? I'll show you why, hang on. Oops, nearly lost the garlic. The reason I've got marafat peas is because Tesco's was doing them, reduced them all, hundreds of them, to seven p a tin. And I couldn't, I just couldn't resist it at that price. Comment below if you've had marafat peas. In fact, do you know what? I don't even know what they are. I'm going on Google now, see what it says about them. I mean, I've had a hard day at work. I'm trying to eat my dinner, and I'm intrigued by marafat peas. But I've got—I've just got to know now. Once something's in my head, I've got to know. Marrow. Hmm. Marrowfat peas. Oh, mushy peas. Marrowfat. Marrowfat. No, we just want to know what marrowfat peas are. Marrowfat peas are green mature peas. They've been allowed to dry out naturally in a field rather than being harvested while still young, like normal garden pea. They are stir starchy and are used to make mushy peas. Well, I love mushy peas. Are marrow fat peas healthy? I can't believe I'm doing a vlog on marrow fat peas. I really can't. Well, I must admit, marrow fat peas don't taste too bad. Marafat peas are packed with nutrients including vitamin A, C, B1, iron and phosphorus. And they're rich in protein, carbohydrate and fibre. Ooh. Comment below guys about Marafat. I can't go on about Marafat peas anymore. My dinner's going to be coming. But yeah, I only used to have them, literally. My mum used to put them on my dinner plate. When I had a roast dinner, I used to think, Bloody hell, they're big peas. But uh, yeah, it brings back childhood memories eating my marafat peas now. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my dinner now. Enough about marafat peas. Morning guys. Hey, do you remember this car? Check this out. Look, I still got my little bubble, my little smart car. I'm super excited about picking this Maserati up today. I'm just gonna go to work now. And once I get there, let's have a look what it looks like. Look at that, there's the Maserati. Oh, 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 I'm getting excited. And it's chucking it down the rain as well. Guys, check this out, red leather interior. Oh, 200 mile an hour on the clock. Look at this. Oh, yes. I'm gonna have fun driving this. Shame that it's horrible weather today. Look at that, my first time ever driving a Maserati. Guys, I'm living the dream in the Maserati. Anyway, I've just pulled onto the private road quickly so you can have a little look at this. Oh, 
it sounds lovely. Oh, I can't, let's open the window a bit. Now listen to this. That is a lovely car. Guys, this is luxury on wheels. I mean, I'm only doing 20 mile an hour. It's very wet outside today, but I just, honestly, this is luxury performance, everything on wheels. That makes a lovely sound. Right, Andy's having a little play with this, then gonna MOT it. Do you like the interior though? I know your, your Audi's My red. My Audi's red. red. Yeah, so I'd, you'd go for that, wouldn't you? I would, mate, I would. I would. It shows you're a hot male when it's a hot colour. Hot-blooded male. <laughs> Come on, give us a rev. Let's have a sound. All I can see is red reflection on the windscreen. Yeah, well, I like it's that. Terrible. terrible. Go around the back, mate. Come on, let's get around the back. Come on. Oh, God! That sounds lovely. Look who we've got here, that's not been on the vlog for a while. Pretending he's doing something on the computer. How have you been Christian? Tell everyone how you've been. Uh, Are you living the dream? Well, sort of. Not everyone does have the opportunity, but yeah. What do you think to my new Maserati? <clears throat> I think I'd rather stick with the TT, mate. You would? Yeah. Well, I'd have the Maserati any day, mate. That's uh, all beat, but... No <laughs> engine is that one? The excitement is getting there. I've just got home now from work. Cool, I thought it was a crack on my camera then. Anyway, I've just got home from work. The workmen are still here. Two of them. I can't speak too loud in case they hear me. They've been here all morning. And it's now 6.30 at night and they're still doing my wardrobe. They said it was missions. Big time missions. Glad I didn't do it. I don't think I could have done it. He needed two people anyway. So as soon as it's all done, I'll show you what it looks like. In the meantime, I'm doing myself some like Slimming World chips, breast of chicken with, I can't think what the sauce is called. Mayflower, Southern Fried Chicken. So I'm doing myself some homemade chips with Mayflower, southern fried chicken sauce on top with peas so there's my homemade chips i've just peeled the potatoes there look at that did you see that in the corner look i've got to have that tonight to celebrate a bit of fruit and nut so i'm just going to boil my chips off now uh get them in the oven so they start browning right, guys, chips are in the oven that's what i'm making up and i mean this is the absolute business this mayflower southern style gravy mix i like the curry one as well so there's my dinner for tonight. So I've got chicken breast with southern fried chicken sauce, mayflower, some homemade chips and peas. Yummy, 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 yummy. It's 8.30 at night and I've literally just gone. I don't think I'll be making a chili con carne tonight. That is gonna be a tomorrow job, you know it. Come and have a look at my wardrobe. At last, it's done. Are you ready for this? It's finally done. Da -da there you go. That's my wardrobe. Look at that when I'm laying in bed. Love it. We had a small accident, no, uh, what they've done. They broke one of the wall lamps. Tut, tut, tut. Oh, I didn't like those anyway. I want to get some modern ones, so I'm going to have to go out shopping for wall lamps at the weekend. But let me open my wardrobe. So that's that side. So you can see you've got four lots of, uh, for hanging your clothes, space up there. And then you've got space up there again. I've just tried it, because I've got four of these left. So you could have extra hanging, have another two lots of hangers. I mean, I've got them clothes in there, but I've got piles there and piles at my mum still to fill up. This is big time to up my bedroom though. Not very good planning, I don't think. So if you actually look now, I've got my TV there, 
I haven't even got any hangers to put all these clothes on. Lucy's got to go and buy me some hangers. So I've got my TV there. I've got a massive wardrobe there. And my bed there. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone for a smaller wardrobe, but I don't care. I've got plenty of room with this now. And this is big enough for me. And I love these mirrors. Definitely be tested knees out. You know it. So I'm up at 6.30 this morning. So I can get my chili con carne in the slow cooker. So I can cook it while I'm talking to you. So I can get it in the slow cooker before I go to work. So I'm just browning off uh, the onion and garlic so far. There's the mince I'm putting in there. I've got some chopped tomatoes to go in. I've got my crushed chilli flakes, love them. Never had these before. I got these a while ago. Hot and spicy mixed beans. I usually just have the uh, chilli beans in there. But I'm going to go for these in there as well for a change. That looks damn good, that does. So I've added some mixed herbs to the onions while I'm blanching them off. I've got some chilli flakes in there. So it's cooking all into the mince. Just going to literally brown it all off and add everything to it. Right, let's have the mixed tomatoes. Right, let's have these beans. Ooh, I don't know if I... These are di different, bit weird. Alright, they look too bad. There you go. I'll leave it in a slow cooker, let it do its job. And I'm off to work now, guys. I'll let you know tonight what it looks like and how it tastes. Should be alright though, cooking away nice and slowly all day long. Guys, I've just got home and check my chilli out. Oh, Look at that, that's been in the slow cooker since 6.30 this morning. Lovely jubbly. I've just cooked some rice for it. That wasn't me making noises, that was Charlie with his pig. Well it Charlie. Cook some rice, a bit of garlic bread in the oven, off we go. Anyway guys, let me serve the dinner up and I've got an update on this bloody wardrobe. I'll tell you about it in a minute. There we go. There is my chili con carne. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. Anyway, so we put all the clothes in the wardrobe. I go to undo the, the doors. One of them just slides lovely. Just flick it with your hand. The other one's jammed solid. I can't move it. So I've rang the handyman up. Hopefully he's coming back tomorrow because I can't open one side of my wardrobe now. He said it's only sort of a quick job. It's just do the adjusters or something on the slider. This wardrobe's a nightmare. Mm, that chili con carne is the business. It is lovely. Oh, I do like this in the slow cooker. Come on. Dinner's all ready. I'll have to do a curry in there next. Anyway, guys, I'm going to eat this and I'll show you wardrobe quickly when I've had it. Let me show you the wardrobe. I'm never going to go on about it anymore after this promise so there we are see this side lovely jubbly look at that no messing about love it love it now are you ready for this side I can't move it I seriously can't move it the door won't move at all and it looks so the wheels collapsed or the tracker, whatever it goes on at the bottom. So that's what he's got to come around to do, but it's not end of the world or anything like that. It should be done, hopefully tomorrow. And this is what I'm up to tonight. Got my TV on. I don't know what I'm watching. It looks like a load of rubbish. Got my chocolate milk. I love these chocolate milks. So I'm going to lay on my bed now guys and upload this vlog. Thursday tomorrow, not long to go. 
Oh, and my camera battery's flashing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little vlog in the week, and I'll be back at the weekend for Halloween. Catch you all later.